welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing more intense stresses, more intense stretches, and we are going to hold the positions a little bit longer just to get into those muscles, ligaments, joints, just to work all that out, stretch them out, lengthen them out, make them more flexible. We want flexibility over here. So you guys already know the drill. We get our yoga mats. Today I'm working on a yoga towel. You can grab some yoga blocks if need be. And let's get started. So come on over to your hands and knees. We are going to start by warming up the lower body. So we are going to do these hydrants or fire hydrant poses, we're gonna do five to the back and five to the front. And of course, we will switch legs. So come on out and we'll do one, two, three, four, and five. Of course, reverse it. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we will Pull up our hands and then do the other side. Again, whoa, what am I doing? One, two, three, four, and five. In reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. Your butt should probably burn a little bit, but we also were getting some movement in those hip joints. So come on over to your sitting bones and put your legs in front of you. We are just going to shake them out. Grab for the back of your feet and just pull. Okay, boom. Bring one leg in. Extend the other leg. We are gonna fall over. Remember to sit up tall while we're doing this. And then again, just falling over, kind of exhaling while you're going down just to kind of help release as you fall. So here we go. Breathe in and exhale. more breaths here. Perfect. Come on up. Now we are going to bring this leg into our arms and kind of cradle it like a baby. So bring your leg up. Put it into the crevice of your arm. Bring your arm around the other side. Clasp your arms, hold them, whatever's comfortable. Make sure you're not slouching. Definitely sit up and just hold it here for a few breaths as well. Now you want to rock it back and forth. Five more times. Perfect. Now before getting rid of this leg, we're going to lay back and bring this leg out into a half happy baby pose. So come on back and just bring that leg with you. Now while you're here, try to push your foot down so that your knee is almost touching the ground or is touching the ground. Perfect. 
Roll back on up and come forward. You should definitely feel a lot more of a difference on which leg's tighter or looser. So of course, we'll do it on the other side. So bring that right foot in, up into the groin area, sitting up tall, and of course, exhaling as we go down. So again, breathing in and breathing out. few more breaths. Perfect. Roll on up. Bring that foot to the crevice of your arm. Grasp it and sit up tall. Hold it here. You guys can hear it there is so much wind I'm in Oklahoma right now and the wind is crazy out here it's absolutely insane now we will rock it side to side Take that foot, again, roll back slowly, and then we will put it out to the side as well. Perfect. Roll on up and come forward over your legs and just hold here. Go a little bit deeper. Perfect, come on up, shake that out. So now we are going to do a fun pose that really gets us deep into the hips. So what we wanna do is have our right leg parallel to the ground or, yeah, parallel. And then we want to bring our foot out to, excuse me, out to the left here. So what we're going to do is sink into those hips again to open them, lengthen them, and go from there. So get ready, get in position, and let's go. So we want our self kind of to be pushed, our kind of squared to the front here. So what we are going to do is just gradually sink in to getting all the way down and then holding it for a few breaths. So we're just gonna go forward and hold and come back. A little bit deeper, forward and hold and come back. One more time, forward and hold, come back. Let's go all the way now. Forward and just hold. Perfect, come on up. Let's do the same on the other side. Make sure that is squared. Make sure you are kind of turned forward even though everything else is going in the opposite direction. And here we go. Forward and back. 
forward and back again one more time and all the way now We are going to come to our beloved frog position. So let's come to our knees. We know we need to make sure they are parallel. And let's just come down and hold here for a minute. And then you guys are going to hate me again because we are going to do our wall stretch as well to end this. So come on down. Make sure you're over not coming up too forward or too backwards. You want to be right over and let's just breathe. If you can, try to push yourself, go a little bit deeper. And now we want to get some range of motion the last 20 seconds here so just come forward and back Results are happening. So let me go ahead, grab my phone here. You guys get set up on the wall. We are going to finish off with our favorite wall stretch. I am going to set the timer. Oh wow, wrong. Almost put it for five hours instead of minutes. Here we go. While you're lying here, definitely take notice of which leg feels a lot more tense. You should definitely still be working both legs, but that gives you an idea of which one you may need to work just a little bit more. For me, it's my left side, which is my non-dominant side, and usually that's the case for other people, but obviously people vary as well. Just something to keep in mind.
Oh wow, that went by fast. Well, we are done. If you can get out, do so. it here. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're getting more flexible with me, please let me know in the comments down below. Oh wait, my hips are good now. Okay. As always guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for struggling with me. Um, we are going to have our straddles before we know it and I cannot wait until we all can look back and laugh at when this used to hurt. So keep consistent. I'm going to do the same. And until next week, I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and just awesome life, I guess. But yeah, I will see you guys next week. I hope you guys have a great one. Bye.